Longtime NBA player Olden Polonese and the founder of the big league, Jason McIntyre. Let's stay right here in Los Angeles, where some Lakers fans have bought billboards around the city in an attempt to recruit LeBron James away from Cleveland. Just a week after some 76ers fans pulled the same stunt buying billboards around Cleveland. Now, with the new look Cavs looking a lot like the old look Cavs, it seems more and more likely LeBron could dump the Cavs for the second time. Kyle Herb, would a move to L.A. tarnish LeBron's legacy? It is his legacy. Moving is his legacy. <laughs> That's like asking if fast food's going to hurt Burger King's legacy. <laughs> I mean, when I, when I think of LeBron, I think the player empowerment superstar. MJ was the g first global icon. Magic sa and Bird saved the league. Uh, LeBron. Let me flip the script there. Is is that a, is mobility? He'll be known more for mobility than winning. He'll is be that a good legacy. He'll be known for both. By the way, if he moves to LA and wins, and he would, Lonzo can play, Ingram can play, Kuzma can play, Randall can play. Winning. Durant can play. Steph Curry. I'm can not play, saying he's beating like them. <laughs> but what if he goes there in four years and they get to a final or two? He yeah, won up four years when he's 40 or 52. What <laughs> four years will be 37. <laughs> How many more years do you think he's gonna play? Five, oh, six. No. Brady's gonna play three more, and that's he's not. There's not enough years for LeBron to do anything that's gonna affect anything that's happened in the past for the for the Lakers. It's absolutely nothing. Now, if he goes to the Clippers, I can see something happen. But you got Will, Magic, Kareem, Shaq. You got Kobe with two jerseys retired. There's nothing he can do short of 10 championships. But Olden, he doesn't need to get his name among the Laker greats of all time. He's already cemented his legacy, Whitlock. Yes, he is he in the does. discussion with Michael Jordan. We say it every day. We do it every day on this show. He's past Kobe. We would agree with that, right? He's past Magic Johnson. His it's, legacy is cemented. It's the well, narcissism sure in him. What? Magic, what? Magic. It's the narcissism in him. <laughs> well, the nurse. What if the narcissism in him wants to be a billionaire? Wants to be a owner of a team? He's going to do that no matter what. He can do that in Cleveland. I feel it would be accelerated in the entertainment capital of the world. We know he's in the movies. There's two he teams there. That's what I'm saying. So yeah, I can see Clippers him doing going. Brand, Clippers, that's... His Clippers brand has been a roller coaster. So what's the point of going to the Lakers when you have pretty much the same type of players in Cleveland be now? Because the Lakers have a series of young, talented, cheap players. They, people really are in on Luke Walton. Okay. Doc Rivers is a little <laughs> divided. The way I look at, listen, we have a history here. That if you're great, you can kind of do a Brett Favre last couple years. You can do a Johnny Unitas out in L.A. No, 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 last couple years. This is his whole career. LeBron James is going to be known for city hopping. That's his career legacy. I think it actually trumps his legacy as a winner, is that he just hopped from city to city. Cleveland, Miami, Cleveland again, and now probably L.A. Did we forget Charles Barkley played in no, 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 Philly? Sure. Charles and... Barkley's not LeBron James Did we at all. Carl Malone chased a ring with the Lakers at the end. That's of at career. the end of his career. He the put last 15, year. 16 years Come on. Years this is a different league than it was in the <laughs> I get it. No, 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 no. I get it. It's different. I'm just saying, is that a great legacy? Okay. It used to be divorce was a stigma. If you say I'm divorced, nobody cares. A lot of people are Is divorced. that a good thing? I'm not saying it's a good thing. That's the reality thing. It's the same with mobility. Yeah. Like, mobility is not a stigma anymore. I just in feel he should stay in Cleveland. You know, finish out your career in Cleveland. Build that legacy. And I think that would enhance his legacy overall. What more could he do in Cleveland, old? Then he went back win to another, win another, win another title. title. He said he was going to win one. He did. No, how about winning a title with less talent? Oh, jeez. Oh, are we, are how you about serious? That one? Yes, how about hey, that let's one? Let's just take when away LeBron's great players and see what he can do <laughs> then. Maybe then he'll. A on. second <laughs> title in Cleveland and finishing. Look, man. Joe Montana was devastated when he had to leave San Francisco. Peyton Manning didn't like leaving Indianapolis. Again, when you're the all, when you're in that all-time great conversation, I just don't know if this new legacy and new normal that he's establishing, I don't know if it's that great. I don't know if it's great either. I think, I just think if you, I think his brand has been established. People are just going to say, second best player of all time. And I think that's what it is. I don't think he'll ever surpass Who's Jordan. Who's going to say that? Who isn't and, saying that? You and I? I you don't no, want to be I, second best no matter what. Man, you got hey. Kareem. If he comes to L.A., he's still going to have to live up to Kobe's I, well, I, I just don't think legacy. he's leaped over Kareem yet. I, I don't know if 
I'm not sure if I'm really ready all the way there. So oh, would Magic he if Johnson. he stayed in Cleveland and won another title? If he won another title in Cleveland, then I think you have a – he's the second greatest. It's a stronger argument. Yeah. But again, and I don't know, man. Kareem and Michael is that's a hard. So he goes to Philadelphia and wins the title. Then what? Is he is he on par it's, with Kobe? No, I mean, we're being a little silly here, are we not? No. I, you I, go to the Lakers in the okay. entertainment capital of the world. Okay, let me ask you. LeBron's global. Do, do you have him above Rudy Gay at this point? <laughs> Check with me tomorrow. <laughs> to San Antonio, where Kawhi Leonard said today that he hopes to return soon from the quad injury that has sidelined him most of the year, and added that he wants to finish his career in San Antonio, despite reports of a feud with a team over how they handle his injury. Whitlock, could Kawhi possibly salvage this season? This season is a little tough, I mean, because he's, the, look, the Jordan brand and him have split up. Yes. His, his, his brand has been damaged a bit. Pop has had to crack the whip, uh, for lack of a better term, to get to prod him back into playing this year. Having said all that, I fully expect next season Kawhi Leonard will be back as one of the two or three best two-way players in the league, one of the five best players in the league, and will be seen as a key figure in pushing San Antonio back into the championship hunt or second place to Golden State or whatever. But this season, Salvin, he's had a rough year. An, an NBA season's a little like a movie. You can't be a great movie with a bad finish. You can't be a great team with a lousy playoff finish. But majority of the movie is laid out in the regular season. Oh, definitely. I don't think he can salvage it, and I'll tell you why. I think what this year has done for Kawhi, it has validated his reputation as odd. He was always an incredibly reluctant star. Every other star has got a brand. They talk. They're verbal. That He's the reluctant star. Yeah. This year validated that. And you know what else happened? The chink in the armor appeared in San Antonio for the first time. We've never seen that before. They've always been able to keep everything in-house. And I think really what it, what it comes down to with Kawhi is as simple as this. They are questioning my heart, and I'm upset about it. Because Tony Parker had the same injury. And so now here you go, the trainers and the coach, everybody saying, we've never seen anything like this before. You know, we've never seen this injury take this long before. Right. And so now I think that really affected is Kawhi. Is it irreparable? Could they? Could it? Ever... I believe it is. So they'll never get. He'll never. I don't think he's gonna. He's gonna probably do his contract, and then I think he's he, leaving. He wow. said he wants to retire. Yeah, he did spur. say at, at practice today he wants to retire as spur. But I, I just want to add this: he's up for the supermax extension this offseason, two hundred seventeen million dollars. Okay, this is a guy, and, and I'm gonna preface this. We bag on LeBron if he sits out a couple games. Kawhi Leonard has never played more than 75 games in a season. This is his seventh year in the league. There is some question, and I've talked with Broussard about this at length, around the league. Is Kawhi Leonard a little soft? He's never played 75 oh. games in a season, and now you want to give him the Supermax? Okay, it's a, it's, I, I think there's it, something up here that... No, I think you're, that's a very interesting point. Here's the other thing. Because he's not a passer, he doesn't elevate teammates. That Supermax can't just be about you dropping 24. He well, doesn't. I disagree with that. Now, pass is not good, but playing defense on the other end does. does elevate your other teammates. Yeah. Not not being a high maintenance guy that has to have the ball in your hands all the time does elevate your other that's, teammates. That's Tony Parker's job. <laughs> that's the point guard's job. Deontay Murray, those guys. It's their job to pass. Would the ball. you pay him max money? I wouldn't pay anybody max money. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin Durant. I've, I've always been under that. You know, we all overpaid. <laughs> okay, that's always been my philosophy. We all, I don't care, athletes, we all overpay. But take the money if you can get it. But I just don't feel that he's a max. I mean, he's a superstar, but the money is um, it's, it's ridiculous right now. But I do believe that he is a great player. And the, I think the defense, as Jason said, that's what elevates him more than anything else. He is uber but defense. At the same time, let me ask. This, he's been out, played only nine games this year. Has James Harden passed him as one of the better players in the league? Yes, I would yes. say so. Has Anthony Davis passed? I mean, Anthony Davis right now is carrying a bad Pelican no, team to the playoffs. I don't agree we, with I, that. I think it, it, Damian Lillard is Harden off was the already charts. above him. I think it was he close. rose up to that level. Where is Kawhi? Kawhi rose up to the well, level. I think Kawhi that's the question. Today. No, no, no. I, I think Jason's made extra points about his durability and never playing more than 75 games. Again, right now he's out of the top 10. I expect him back next year motivated and back in that conversation as a top five guy. Coming up, 
Which of these Heisman winners is the riskiest pick in the draft?